What's up guys welcome back to e-reviews we are still with the Xiaomi Redmi 1s well as expected Xiaomi has failed to release an official KitKat update uh, for the Redmi 1s but thanks to our dedicated developers at MIUI forums we have an unofficial but very stable KitKat ROM I've already shown the installation steps in my previous video so go ahead and check it out Coming to this video, I'm going to be reviewing this ROM along with the top features of MIUI V6 and I'm also going to tell you guys how to optimize this ROM as well. So without further ado, let's get to it. First thing I'd like to address about this ROM is the stability and battery backup. I've been using this as my daily driver as you can see I've installed uh, pretty much all the apps that I use daily and uh, I've had no force close issues while multitasking or gaming there is a slight lag uh, switching between heavy applications but the issue is being looked into and I think we should have a fix on that as well coming to the battery backup of this ROM I just got one thing to say it's just phenomenal for an unofficial ROM I got a couple of uh, screenshots that validate what I'm saying as you can see uh, on sort of a heavy usage I got around 1 day and 13 hours which is great I mean it's twice as much as what Jelly Bean used to give uh, as you can see I've been using a lot of music WhatsApp and Facebook you can see the hardware usage uh, 61% and on another day with minimal usage I think I got a day and 23 hours which is like too good to be true right but it's all possible if you guys follow the six battery optimization steps that I portrayed in my other video it's very beneficial guys not just for the Redmi 1s but for any phone with root access so please go ahead and uh, check out this video I mean I'm not uh, asking for high views or whatever it is but I feel that this is one of my best videos and I think a lot of people would benefit from uh, the steps that I portrayed in this so just go ahead and check it out well the next thing I'd like to address is the G apps issue I've been getting a lot of complaints from people uh, stating that they're not able to install G apps or they have installed it but uh, it doesn't appear on the home screen well there is an issue with the latest version that is the March 6th I believe uh, so I would highly recommend sticking to the v3 version and flashing the G apps on it uh, everything works uh, pretty fine uh, I haven't had any force close issues or any download issues so let me just go ahead and uh, show you guys an update as you can see there are no issues with downloading applications or updating it if you stick to v3 and g apps moving on to the version of miui uh, the v3 version of this rom currently runs on 5.1.10 yes it's uh, not the latest version of miui v6 but it's still a very stable and uh, functional version of miui v6 i don't see any point or difference in switching to the latest one all right so moving on to the more fun part the top features of miui v6 there's been a lot of cosmetic changes from uh, MIUI V5 to V6. They've uh, made the ROM much more simpler and classier to look at, of course, taking inspiration from iOS 8. And it's not just about the looks this time, it's also about the performance. So starting off with the lock screen, the first thing you'll notice is the sleeker and slimmer uh, clock icon over here, which has replaced the chunky one from MIUI V5. And you'll also notice that there is no trackball uh, to quickly jump into music application or your messaging application so the whole uh, design of the lock screen has been changed and all you have is just these three functionalities from now on the first one would be to slide up to unlock and the second one would be you have a small notification bubble over here so once you click on it you will get uh, a quick peek into any messages or missed calls that you have so you can just uh, click on this and you will quickly jump into the app application itself and the third one would be the camera application so if you swipe from the right uh, of the screen to left you will jump into the camera application the camera application has been given a complete overhaul not just with the looks but with also the functionality and performance the image stabilization has uh, improved and even the autofocus functionality uh, speaking of uh, visual changes uh, you will see that uh, the options have been changed uh, it's more sort of organized if you would ask me organized and easier to use so there's panorama audio HDR burst shot so manual and scene mode 
easy to access when you swipe from the left to right uh, swiping from right to left gives you the filters uh, which is also pretty nifty for a camera application uh, clicking over here you would go switch to the front camera and you also have easy access to flash and when you click over here you would jump into the gallery and uh, you have the new gallery app as well so that's about with the lock screen moving on to the home screen uh, you'll notice that the icons have been trimmed down uh, so they use the screen space much more efficiently I mean it looks very sleek and uh, slim compared to the MIUI V5 another thing you notice is that there's no search bar so they've added a gesture to the home screen so if you just swipe up you will uh, launch the universal search bar so there you go you have the universal search bar from here you can enter anything and search and if you swipe down you will get the quick settings panel um, this also has been given a UI overhaul as you can see it's transparent in nature now uh, it reflects the background screen so if you're on an app it kind of gives a blurry image of the app that is running behind you can also access the music player right from here you have the play pause button and you have the next track button and quick settings as well and the best part about this is the ROM has been uh, given the feature to organize this all you gotta do is jump into notifications go to toggle positions and you can just uh, press and hold and move the icons speaking of uh, remote features let's talk about the music player you will not be able to access the music player it will not pop up uh, it will not give you a small pop up when you swipe up and uh, that the same goes with notes as well if you swipe down you will not be able to get a quick view of these applications and also press and hold uh, does not work from now on you will have to pinch to get the uh, wallpaper and widgets options and also to move around the applications as well one of my most favorite animations on MIUI V6 would be the recent apps screen well this is the animation from MIUI V5 and if you just pinch out from the icons you would get a quick peek into the applications screen or the last visited screen and this is once again inspired by iOS which is pretty nice uh, nice to look at and when it comes to usability as well there are a lot of cosmetic changes with MIUI V6 and hence I suggest you guys to discover them for yourselves as it would leave a good experience with MIUI V6 having said that let's move on to the more interesting part of the video and that is how to optimize this ROM well these are the six steps to optimize the ROM I've given a detailed description of these six applications in my battery optimization video so go ahead and check it out uh, just have a quick stroll through this is the battery calibration app titanium backup pro greenify security settings no frill cpu control five out of these six uh, steps are the same for optimizing this rom except for one that would be deleting stock applications using titanium backup in the optimization video you would see that you, you would have to go into backup and restore click on say this stock application android live wallpaper uninstall and yes for that as you can see it has given a strike through stating that the application has been deleted but once you restart the app uh, the rom you would actually find it still here therefore in order to delete a stock application in this rom you will have to go through a different process but as usual the e-reviews way it's a learning curve and uh, it's a simple process as well so let's get into it all right in order to delete a stock application in this rom you will be using this application called root explorer so let's go ahead and fire it up well this application would give access to a lot of folders root folders that are present in your phone so be very careful and follow the exact same steps that i am going to display in this video so scroll down and find the folder named as system click on it uh, you get a bunch of folders so head into apps 
uh, as you can see these are the stock applications that are present in your phone so let's go ahead and delete a test application let's see alright let's go ahead and delete MUI video APK so in order to uh, permanently delete this application from your phone you will have to delete MIUI video.apk and MIUI video.odex in order to do that press and hold delete so if you get this warning stating that uh, MIUI video.apk cannot be deleted because the file system is read only all you gotta do is click on this button stating r slash w well what this means is it was initially mounted as read only so when you clicked on the button now it's mounted as r slash w so now you can go ahead and press and hold delete and you would successfully delete MUI video dot apk so let's go ahead and delete the odex folder as well so that's deleted let's go ahead and delete another stock application I don't use me MUI supermarket so let's go ahead and delete that as well so like I said it's that simple it's just like deleting any application or any file in your file manager but you gotta be very careful since these are stock applications uh, I will leave a, a link to a list of applications that you can safely delete so go ahead and check it out and please do delete only those don't delete uh, other applications that are present in this folder or any other folder after you have come into systems folder yes it is a bit of a uh, bit lengthy process compared to the titanium backup one but since titanium backup is not functioning properly with this rom uh, we need to find a workaround and this is the only workaround so let's round up the optimization steps once again the first one would be battery calibration and then delete stock applications using root explorer then greenify the remaining applications using greenify use the security applications to clean up and provide proper root access to your applications and settings uh, again as de depicted in my battery optimization video and using no frill cpu at frequencies depending on your usage well that sums up the review on unofficial kitkat MIUI v6 rom and how to optimize it I would highly recommend sticking to this ROM even if uh, MIUI releases an official KitKat ROM because you would have to go through the hassle of routing it and uh, deleting all the applications and stuff. This ROM is pre-routed and you can go ahead and easily perform these optimization steps on this and they work flawlessly. So one thing you would experience in the official ROM is that the themes application would be in English so that's about it and that's the only difference that i see between this unofficial rom and the official rom so i think i wouldn't be shifting to the official rom i would stick to this having said that if you have any queries on the steps performed while deleting the stock applications please feel free to ask them in the comment sections below i will definitely answer them so if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to e-reviews for more interesting and exciting videos as usual, see you on the other side.